Hey everyone, earlier I was going back through some videos and I went back as far as, God I've been doing YouTube now for ages, but the further back that I went, the more videos I could find that I've done in the past where I would be able to share with you, you know I've said this before, I would be able to share with you items from these top brands like Chanel, Dior, Louis Vuitton. I could show you things at one point that were £600 and less and as time has gone on, the amount of things I can show you has really dwindled. And what's really frustrating is when I do these videos, which I really like, kind of best bags for this budget, but it's frustrating when I do them and the amount I'm, I'm showing bags for is getting more and more and more. You know, it's gone from 500 to 1,000 to 1,500 and soon will be at 2,000 if you even want to get yourself something half decent from one of these brands. So I've been doing some digging to try and find if I can find anything that still works within this budget, that still looks cool, that is still um, from a really good brand, and I've even got a dupe here that I'm going to show you, which is a perfect dupe for the Bottega chain pouch, if you like the look of that. I mean, that now, that's over £2,000, way over £2,000. So if you like the concept of that, because it's quite a trendy bag, but you do not want to spend that money, I actually have something here that's around about £600, and um, it's really nice. I'm going to start with brands that I used to talk to you about where you could get decent bags for under a thousand pounds. And when I've looked earlier, because I thought, right, I'm gonna include them in this video, it there, it is no more. Louis Vuitton is a really great example. Recently, when it comes to price increases, I think a lot of us, if you're, if you've got your eye on that, a lot of us have been thinking about Chanel, but actually, these price increases have happened over all of the brands. And if I tell you now, have a look at this. This is the No Way uh, BB. Now, I always spoke to you about the No Way because you could buy those bags in the three sizes I think they come in, and you could buy them for under a thousand pounds. This one in particular, last time I looked, I think this was 945 pounds. It is now, how much is it? A thousand and twenty pounds. The only one you can still get for under a thousand is the Nano and it's 920, but I just want to demo the size of it here because it really is quite tiny. What can you get? I've got stuff from Gucci because let me tell you, Gucci is a place where you can still get decent stuff. I've also got something from Balenciaga. I think I'm going to start with the dupe first and it, as I mentioned earlier, it is a dupe for the Bottega chain pouch. But I actually think it's a better looking dupe. Um, I briefly showed this a couple of weeks ago in another video. It's a new bag out and it's from Senrev. Now, I've said it before. Senrev, I think, gets a, a, a hard time on social media because they give out a lot of bags. And that's fair enough. I think it's normal to think, you've been given that, do you really like it? But I always say with this brand, with all due respect, I have got enough bags and junk in my life, I don't need anything just because it's free. Um, and I've also bought their bags before because they're good. Now this is one of their new bags out, and this reminds me exactly of the Bottega pouch. And if I just show you here, Etsy is a fantastic place to be able to buy additional bag handles so you can customise and style up bags that you have. You can buy the exact Bottega chain handle on Etsy for around about £20, I think. And if you were to convert this and put the chain handle on it, you could make this look very Bottega-esque. This is around about £600 from memory. They do have um, quite a few things coming up for Cyber Weekend. I'll put the details of those below instead of me rattling them all off. I'm going to demonstrate with all of these bags how much fits in. With this, this is called the Cornetti bag, and it's Cornetti is actually Italian for uh, croissant, which I think it really looks like. Because it's from Senrev, they've put their signature blue micro suede lining in it. It's also, if any of you are familiar with Senrev, they're quite particular when it comes to space and organisation inside their bags, and it's got one inner zip pocket and two card holder sections. 
It comes with its own chain handle, and this is pretty heavy actually. It also has got two pockets on the outside. It's got one there, which is a slip pocket, and it's got one on the other side, which is zip. One thing you're not going to believe is that this isn't real leather. This is cactus leather. It looks like real leather, the only thing that gives it away is it doesn't smell like leather, it smells like nothing. Cactus leather is fully plant-based, so anyone who, if you're trying to avoid leather or anything, or if you're vegan, then this will tick the box for you. If you're not keen on the idea of the cactus leather with that, and you want to go for um, real leather, they do have a leather called Sereno leather, which is quite soft and squishy and supple, and with all of these you can get different hardware and the different hardware has been designed to go with the different colors gucci gucci is a great one to look at if you have got a budget so with everything i'm showing here i was trying to go for bags that are around the budget of six or seven hundred pounds and there are some that are a little bit more but generally speaking they're all around that same price gucci is a fantastic brand to look at if you have got a slightly smaller budget or you just don't want to spend the money um ha this is all new by the way so i haven't opened it have a look at their canvas pieces and also you can get this bag in denim as well i showed the denim one before and these you can fit a really good amount but also for, very often for this kind of money you are looking at a teeny tiny micro bag you know that seems to be the way things are, are going now i remember in a video that i saw earlier that i did i was at one point showing i think it was the chanel mini flap square bag and i had it don't know how many of you remember i actually sold it but i had it in like a patent corally kind of color and i was able to show that at the time and it was under 1500 now it's 3000 <laughs> so things have really changed and the thing that has changed is you're now looking at a tiny bag for your money this is a pretty good option actually and camera bags in general i would say to have a look at them because i feel that a lot of brands are trying to fill now that market that has been emptied by the price increases i know a lot of you watch because you want if you're buying a bag you want a, a logo you still get all of that. The canvas is also very hard wearing. I have got a Gucci bag from 2010 and that canvas has not got a mark or a scratch on it and I've used that bag a lot, so I recommend it. I've got um, a Balenciaga and then I have another Gucci bag. The um, That Gucci camera bag was around about 715 pounds. I'm gonna link to everything below, but it was 715 pounds. This bag is 650, I think. So this bag is basically the same price as the Senrev. I've shown you before, but in a in the white color. Problem is with the white color, it actually, in retrospect, marks up kind of a bit. You can get it in navy and in black though now. This is it in black. This sells out quite quickly by the way. This keeps selling out and I was looking at showing you it in navy at one point but then that sold out and the black came back online again. If you've got a budget of under £700 and you want a brand logo and this is a brand that you like, this is a good bag. It's got leather trim on it. It's, it is canvas but it's not coated canvas. It's kind of more like a really thick, it's like the Dior book tote material. Wait until you see what also comes with this bag. I think this is a really nice touch. This comes with, look, a little additional third party almost zip pouch that you could, um, and it's got the little logo on it there. I think you can remove this. Yeah, you can remove this. So if you want to transfer this to different bags, you can do that. It also has a detachable crossbody and shoulder strap, but the handles are big enough for you to actually be able to wear it on the crook of your arm. You know, sometimes you get bags and the handles are tiny. Um, this is a decent size. And I think it looks really classy and it doesn't break the bank. Also comes with its dust bag, as you saw earlier. Now, another bag that I showed you a couple of years ago and do you know what I, I did? And I'm, is this by the way, let me show you some close ups here. Very often I, um, I was actually talking to you, one of you about this the other day. When I do these videos, what I love doing 
and I would say to any of you watching who if you don't do YouTube and you find that you online shop and you keep things and you remove all the tags and then you decide that they don't look so good one thing that's really fantastic for me is that when I do a haul whether it's of bags or whether it's of clothes when I film things and then watch them back I really get a sense of whether they even look nice in the first place or whether they fit well and this was a bag that I tried a couple of years ago and I returned it because I felt that, I don't know why I returned it actually, but I did, and I saw it again and I thought the price, weirdly, the price has not changed a penny since beginning of 2019, end of 2018, that was when I, I think I showed it. This is £880, I think between this and the camera bag, it really depends on your style, some of you won't like a bucket bag but others of you will, but anyway, I was talking to one of you in, um, in the comments about this the other day, about how handy it is to be able to watch back what I'm wearing in camera on the camera and then go, yeah I like that or no I don't like it, and I do exactly the same thing with the bags. Two other Louis Vuitton bags that I forgot to mention which are now off the list completely for bags that are under a thousand pounds are, and I was really surprised about this, the Speedy, no hang on, the Speedy in the 25 size is still under a thousand pounds, that's 940 but I was surprised about the Neverfull, even in the PM size, which is the smallest size that you can see here. This is now £1,020. I remember years ago when the Neverfull was sort of four or five hundred pounds. Who remembers that? I mean, even the Alma BB that I've got, I remember a time when that was 500 and I left it a year and it went up to 650. Even yesterday, I was on the Louisa Villaroma website and you know this bag that I showed you in a video last week? Kind of looks like a croissant bag. <laughs> it's from Bottega. I've been looking at this bag since last summer and it's £1,425. Do you know what happened? I was on Louisa Villaroma, I was taking a lunch break, I was like, I'm gonna have a look online and I, because I've been looking at this bag, it came up on the bottom of the page and it had gone up to £1,710 or something. I did a double take because I thought, I looked at that yesterday, it was 1425 how has that gone up by a couple of hundred pounds? You know, that's quite a lot. Guess what? I don't know, I, they must have been updating the prices as I was looking because I looked down this page and the prices were changing to the new prices, like every time I refreshed, the bag in a different colour would increase. I grabbed it in black, and if it's gross, I'm going to send it back, but I grabbed it in black for 1425 before it had the new price slapped on it, and I will confess I did feel like I'd won the game on that on that front and when it turns up I'll show you and as I say if I think it's gross then I'll send it back. I'm going to show you all and you can all tell me because actually I find you all really helpful when it comes to this stuff. When I do try on things um, I love the feedback that you give me, I find it really helpful. I'm going to link to everything below including that bag strap off Etsy and I also have at the moment some coupon codes which still work on different things including a coupon code that works on Saleron and I've had loads of you message me in the comments under that video saying it works on uh, Saleron and a bunch of other brands. So um, I'll put that below. Thank you so much all of you for watching and I will see you in the next video.